Workers heading to Fukushima Daiichi day after day to tackle a long list of problems. Highly trained teams will spend the rest of the year removing fuel rods from the reactor for building at the nuclear plant. But operator Tokyo Electric Power Company is still trying to deal with an issue that gets worse with every passing minute. NHK World's Noriko Okada has more on the buildup of contaminated water. Lake Barrett is a former U.S. nuclear regulator. He led the decommissioning of a damaged reactor following the Three Mile Island accident. Barrett is currently working as an advisor to Tokyo Electric Power Company. He says TEPCO's top priority is to lay out a clear plan this year for solving the contaminated water problem at Fukushima Daiichi. A lot of work ahead of them. Uh, water is a continuing challenge. Control of the contaminated water is a very complex matter because it's a very complicated site with groundwater movements. Groundwater becomes tainted hour after hour at the plant. It seeps into the damaged reactor buildings and mixes with melted fuel. Workers pump up about 400 tons of it every day. All they can do is store it in tanks. About 1,000 containers dot the site. And TEPCO officials plan to build more. They are cooperating with the Japanese government to take drastic measures to stop the build-up. They plan to surround reactor buildings and other facilities with pipes and then pumping refrigerants to build a kind of ice wall. They believe this will keep fresh groundwater out. Underground tunnels are another problem. Engineers also plan to stop highly contaminated water from seeping into the sea via those tunnels. In this case, they plan to block the flow of tainted water from reactor buildings by freezing the entrances of the tunnels. Workers will again drive pipes into the ground and pump refrigerants into them. That would freeze the contaminated water within a few weeks. Once the tunnels are blocked, crews will then clear them of tainted water. TEPCO officials also need to figure out how to dispose of the contaminated water that's building up in the storage tanks. Crews had to clean up a number of spills from the tanks last year. They've been trying to decontaminate the water with a system called ALPS. It can remove most radioactive substances. Plant managers want to take all of the substances out of the water by March 2015. But ALPS is unreliable and frequently stops operating. Experts warn that if engineers can't tackle the contaminated water issue, they will further delay the decommissioning process. That job is expected to take 30 to 40 years. Noriko Okada, NHK World.